Hello everyone, kya avastha shabar? I am Real Mehdi and welcome to the Filmora tutorial series. This video is gonna be so exciting because I will show you the perfect and effective way to use LUTs in Filmora for color grading. LUTs are really crucial for giving your film a very cinematic and unique look. The full meaning of LUT is lookup table and they are most commonly used for creating and saving color grades which can be used or applied to other film projects. So they are basically like presets or effects. However, there are some differences between presets and LUTs which I will discuss in other videos. So keeping things short, let's get into the video. Alright everyone, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you will need to update the Filmora to the newer versions. If you are using the older versions of Filmora like Filmora 8, you cannot get this feature. I am here using the latest version of Filmora, you can get it from the official site of Filmora. After you download and install, you are ready to go. First we need to import the clips into our timeline. Alright, most of the tutorials I have watched on YouTube that teach you to use the LUTs on individual clip. Uh, in this process, we need to double click on the clip that we need to color grade. Then after going to color tab, uh, at the bottom we can find the 3D LUT option. Here we need to select the LUTs that we want to use for color grading. This process is quite okay, but the problem that I faced with this process the often the LUTs are too strong for my taste or for the clips. It made my clips either too much saturated or too dark or too bright. For example, we can see here the shadow part have become too dark and the highlight part have become overexposed. And here is no option to adjust the intensity of the LUTs. And you know what, I requested Filmora too many times to add a feature where I can control the intensity of the LUTs. I think finally they heard me and added a feature where I can use the LUTs as layers or on different timelines. By this I can increase or decrease the intensity according to my taste. And the most interesting thing is that you can combine several timelines of LUTs and create more interesting looks that was not available in the previous versions. So now let's see how to use the LUTs more effectively and more perfectly by using the latest feature of Filmora. I'm quickly undoing this. So now for this process we need to go to the effect tab, here we can find LUT, click this little icon to expand the folder and in the color correction subfolder you will find the custom LUT. Now we will need to drag this onto the timeline which is above our main video timeline. Make sure this should be at the top timeline. Every timeline beneath this layer will be affected by the LUT. Now we will adjust this layer depending on how many clips we need to color grade. So this is another advantage that we don't need to use LUTs on every single clip individually. Then double click on this custom LUT layer. Now here we can use our LUTs. We can use the LUTs that are provided by Filmora or you can use your own LUT. For example, I have provided a free LUT you can check in the description box which you can download and install. For installing, click here and then click load new LUT. Open the download folder, uh, select the LUT then click open after you click open the lut will be installed and selected and you can use this lut in all other projects now if you feel that the lut is too strong you can now reduce the intensity using this slider i think this value is good for this clip and if you think that we need different intensity for different clips you can just split the LUT layer and use different values according to your taste. For example, I'm splitting this LUT layer, clicking this scissor icon. The LUT layer now split it into two parts. 
so you can put different values uh, for this clip so you need to play around with your values now you can spice it up a bit more by stacking more custom LUT layer on other timelines and adding different LUTs. Let's see how to do that. For this we need to drag and drop another custom LUT layer and adjust according to the clips we need to color grade. And here we can uh, use another LUT uh, over that. So this is the before and this is after. So it's really up to you what kind of look you want. You can experiment with the LUTs and get your desired look. Play around and you will achieve beautiful looking cinematic videos by using this technique. So I'd like to thank Filmora for adding this feature because I badly needed it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. In my upcoming videos, I will show you how to make your own 3D LUTs. There are several techniques, so I will make more videos to show you all the techniques. So please consider subscribing so that you will not miss any of the updates. So bye for now.